Dr. Morley. Yeah? Come and have a look at this. That's over 100 miles up, coming in from space. Now, what's the speed? Over 10,000 miles an hour. It'll disintegrate as soon as it hits the Earth's atmosphere. I hope so. At the moment, it's headed straight for London. It's changing course. Not only that, it's well inside the Earth's atmosphere now, and it hasn't burnt up. But that's impossible. It means it's been guided down. Sergeant, looks how he's It's cold. It's freezing. Well, it must have a remarkable latent heat capacity. Capacity quite beyond my experience. <clears throat> I hate to interfere with more mundane matters, gentlemen, but what is it? Oh, can't tell till we get it back to the laboratory. We out routine X-ray spectrometer and radiation tests. We find the sphere is made of an undetermined silicone type material. This forms an exterior protective shell of three millimeters thick. Mm, but the bulk of the interior contains nothing but a vacuum. What about radiation? The sphere itself emits no radiation at all. What was registered this morning on the Geiger counters was superficial. Mm, probably picked up by the sphere when it passed through the Van Allen strut on entering the Earth's atmosphere. Well, what about the country of origin? We're not in a position to venture an opinion on that. I'm well, sure you must have some idea. I think there's one thing we can say for certain, Major. Yes? We have no idea at the moment. I see. Well, I'm going to report to Whitehall. Perhaps you'll be kind enough to come with me while I phone Dr. Morley. I'll uh, follow you on, if I may. Fine. Miss Muller, Dr. Carsten. My word, that was close, I thought, for the moment. Yes, sir. The less the military knows at this stage, the better. Mm. Well, you see that it's locked away in the storeroom, Jack. Uh-huh. You see you both tomorrow, then. Good night. Good night. I think we'll get him tonight, sir. He's expected to pick up some more replies to the advertisement at 6.30. I'll have the whole area surrounded, and when he turns up, we'll be waiting for him. You're not just up against a criminal mind. We're fighting an alien civilization. One at least a hundred, or maybe a thousand years in advance of ours. Let's show the man. This is a map of the planetary system. Here's the sun, with its nine major planets. Earth is the third planet. This is the fifth planet, Jupiter, the giant planet with its 12 moons. And this, gentlemen, is where Medra comes from. Jupiter 3, the third moon, known to astronomers as Ganymede. Well, why has he come to Earth? Why is he involved with these missing girls? That's what we're trying to find out. One possible explanation might be that they're being abducted for experimental purposes. Genetic experiments, do we? Yes. The investigation of man under laboratory conditions. Dissemination will be a simple matter for a science like theirs. Don't forget one thing. Medra is laboring under great difficulties, too. We think he has to wear a, a special kind of breathing apparatus built into a mask to cope with our atmosphere. Gentlemen, I have a suggestion to make. Well, it's not a suggestion, it's a fait accompli. I have applied to Medra for an interview. You've what? I'm meeting him tonight, and the place where you hope to trap him. At Thorben's bookshop. Typical of Thorburn to leave the door unlocked. Lazy bastard.
Miss Barlow. Miss Barlow. Why did you ask for this interview? I was interested in your advertisement. I'm afraid I don't believe you. Look in my eyes. You are frightened of me, aren't you? Yes, I'm frightened. There is always someone to fear. You have no need to fear me. On the contrary, I fear what I cannot control. And I cannot control an intelligence that is almost equal to mine. A mind such as yours searches and destroys. <laughs> Through Guildford. Looks as though they're making for the hog's back. My task here on Earth is complete. Tell us about your planet, Medra. A thousand years ago, we made our first stumbling steps into space. We had knowledge that could lead to eternal peace and progress, but also embodying the darker powers of universal destruction. So our civilization ended, just as yours would end. But there were survivors. A few. And they were terrible to look upon. It took centuries of procreation before signs of normality began to appear. A hand like this, instead of this. My face? You would like to see it, perhaps? It is quite typical. Is that why you came to Earth? To find new blood? You have no need to fear for the young women who are returning with me. They will come to no harm. You see, we have learned our lesson. One day I may return, if it isn't too late. 